hi all so welcome to this channel and today i am presenting this topic that is upload save file from pc to i series using ftp so basically uh, this time i will upload the save file from my computer to the ibm my machine um, and i already created one video where i am downloading the file from ibm i to the pc so you can watch that video i'll give that link on to the uh, right corner right top corner of this video so you can have a look on to that so here in this video we'll basically talk about uploading a save file from pc to i series so for that we must have a save file on our system having extension dot savf so we must ensure that the extension of the save file must be star dot savf so if I rename I would be able to rename only the name not dot savf as you can see here so if you would go and check you will find that this is dot save one test sav1 dot test dot savf file so the type of file is save file dot savf here as you can see now just do run then cmd okay now here from here from uh, this open the tos shell from where you can transfer or send that the ibm uh, that save file from pc to the ibm i so let's uh, do this so your save file is on location desktop so you have to come to the desktop location first then only you will be able to upload this so for that purpose you will do just cd space desktop from here so now you can see you are on desktop location and you are ready to upload a save file onto the ibm machine let me show you if any i easy class one test sav1 so we do not have any save file till now onto this machine now from here we will transfer the save file so for the first thing here is to use the ftp command then either we can use the uh, domain name or the ip address so we are basically using pub 400 so let me show you how we can trans, uh, get the IP address for the puff 400 puff 400.com and let's look up command so this is the IP address for puff 400.com so either I can use FTP puff 400.com or I can use this IP both the way is possible so let me show you both the things one by one puff400.com first way the session is connected now let's input the user id then the password now i am logged on to ibmi now uh, let's transfer the data so before that I need to set the binary mode on so the data should be went to the binary mode and no change would take place between transfer from windows to the uh, IBMI now here we need to put the save file so we need to put the save file so save file here is test sav one dot sav test sav1 dot savf space then the path slash qsys dot lib slash easy class 1 so you need to give the fully qualified path of libraries as well so easy class qsys is easy class 1 is present at the qsys library and the save file is present inside the 
easy class one library so the save file uh, not not save file is present basically you are going to transfer the save file we are not downloading we are uploading so you are going to transfer the save file to this library so i can either keep the name same or i can change the name let's keep it same same just press enter now you can see it's uploading file, tra uh, file transfer completed successfully and from now you can check work object you can see the save file has been transferred from PC to the IBM I and you can check the object of that as well whose type is star file and attribute is SAVF let's just do DSP SAVF on that so you can see the saved library was easy class one and the object is this you can restore this using rst obj command if it's an object if it's it was the library then you would have to use the rst lib command in that case just delete this object so that you'll see there is no object now so you have to quit from the ftp session and then exit either you can exit or not now i will show you how i can use the ip address as well ftp 185 so this was the ip address which was extracted using this ns lookup command ns lookup then the space then the domain name pop400.com so this was the ip address ftp 185.113.5.134 so we are currently on the desktop now we are connected just do easy class one with the library easy class is the user profile here comes the password here we need to mention the binary command bin command because we are setting the mode transfer mode as binary which means that no no change no change of data takes place between uh, pc to ibm i when we basically transfer the data so the data won't get changed in that case and now here what i need to do is to use the put command so put put this test sav1 sav1 dot savf slash qsys dot lib slash easy class1 dot 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 lib slash test sav 1.savf now we do not have this one let's check if we have this one we don't have test sav 2 as well now if i want to keep or i want that the test sav 1 gets saved into the ibm i but the name of the save file uh, should be different means i don't want to keep this save file name which is present on the pc and i want that when i uh, transfer the save file to the ibm i the save uh, test sav 2 let's say 2 just press enter so once you press enter you can see the sending was started and this is now complete as well and file transfer completed successfully message we get in case if was it was there was any error we we would have got that error as well now we need to close this session ftp session from the command prompt just quit and this press enter we now we can also exit from the command prompt using exit command so we are now exited from this just check whether uh, we got that save file or not so we didn't transfer with the test sav1 so we have used this name test sav2 you can see we have the save file here in the 
library just check if that was fine or not yes it's fine we have the pgm1 object there and the saved library is easy class one so we can restore this using the stobj command so uh, that's all here where in this video uh, so after watching this video you will learn how you can upload the save file from pc to ibm i using ftp method from command prompt so that's all thank you and have a nice time